Actually, they're all on lunch break, so I was going to run into the warehouse to show you guys all the packing and everything going on, uh, but they're all on lunch break right now, so it's nothing's happening right now. <laughs> Thank you, Dakota. Copy that. You know who's finally taking a vacation, everybody? Nick. Nick Napon's finally getting some time off, and he needs it. He does so much behind the scenes, so... Uh, everyone wish him uh, a nice, uh, relaxing vacation because goodness knows he, he's earned it. The man's earned it. I mean, he builds all those Kickstarters. He's constantly doing things behind the scenes. He's doing editorial. I mean, guy does a little bit of everything. He's a jack of all trades here at HQ. All right. So, everybody, it's almost Christmas. We're, what, two weeks away? Two weeks away already. Um, I don't know what happened to 2021, but it, it flew by. Uh, here we are in our last month, and um, so far this year has been um, well, a lot more interesting than last year. Last year was. Bleh. Seemed like it took forever. Um, so yeah, I uh, got a lot of uh, fun stuff today to show you on the catacombs. I am here at HQ, so I have some mock-ups to show you for what we will be selling on Friday. Uh, general public, it's available at 10 a.m. Uh, Mountain Standard Time is for the general public at 9 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, which is 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Swarm Club members, that first hour block is all for you. So if you're a Swarm Club member, uh, you will be able to jump in and get everything in a uh, blah, uh, brain fart. <laughs> I've been helping out my warehouse today to help get this Kickstarter out for all you, so my mind's a little fried. Anywho, um, so Swarm Club members, you get to pick up the exclusives an hour before the general public. It pays to be a Swarm Club member, so if you haven't signed up, Please do so today. Miguel, what's up, brother? How are you? Um, honey, uh, I'm live on the show, so I can't really talk to you right now. Um, I'll call you on my break. There we go. All right. Yeah, I, I know the phone. Let's, let's put that away. Okay. So, the Kickstarter, I'm in here today. They are just plowing through everything, getting everything pulled, packed, and uh, getting everything to... Doing show. Getting everything picked and packed, and um, we also do the double checks to make sure everything is in the orders. So that's going on. Mario and them are just plowing through packing and getting everything loaded up. Um, it seems like we have the mail truck here every other hour just to get stuff out. So they're rushing through to get everything out to you guys for the Kickstarter. If you haven't received any notifications or haven't received a package, just be patient. If you haven't seen anything by January 3rd uh, with your Kickstarter, please 
send us a message at inquiries at coughingcomics.com. Again, that is inquiries at coughingcomics.com. And that will go ahead and, um, ah, man, my phone's doing all crazy things. Let me just get this back up. There we go. So, wait till January 3rd before um, you post anything on Facebook. Please message us at inquiries at coughingcomics.com. Mel will take care of it. We will be shut down um, that week of Christmas through New Year's uh, Day. We will be back, I believe it's January 3rd or 4th, that first Monday. We will be back. So, um, we will definitely uh, take on your messages and find out what's going on with your Kickstarter. So, just be patient. Um, Brandy has got the crew uh, going extra fast and they are doing a beautiful job making sure your Kickstarters are properly picked and properly and safely packaged. So give us till January 3rd, then reach out to us at inquiries at coughingcomics.com. All right, so um, another thing, the Hell Witch versus Lady Death um, Wargasm uh, little pieces of those uh, items will start coming in here. We're definitely uh, trying to make sure sacrilegious and I oh, sacrilegious annihilation. Yeah, that is right. <laughs> I'm not mixing them up uh, for a change today. So, anyways, um, they're trying to get that out, and then um, the Kickstarter for all you folks. Your um, survey backer survey is due Friday, the tenth. This Friday coming up, and also. The Crypt pop-up store, where it has some of the extra additions there, will be open until this Friday also. So, you have till Friday. Um, if you have any problems, please reach out to us at inquiries at coughingcomics.com and we will get everything taken care of for you so you can get that uh, information to us and get that package get done and maybe pick up some extra additions that um, uh, you weren't able to get uh, during the Kickstarter. Well, now's your last chance to scoop them up. All right, so uh, it's uh, really packed in here with tables, because like I say, because of the Kickstarter and all the orders, there's tables everywhere for Brian to sign. Uh, I still wish we could keep track of that, because holy cannolis. Mark, what's up, Mark? How you doing, Carmen? Hi, honey. Hi, Miguel. How are you? All right. So I'm going to show you guys some of the items we're going to be offering on Friday. These are the prints. This is the web edition. Excuse me. $16. This will go available on Friday. Thank you for the graphics there, Jimmy. Guys, if you want to get a nice peek at everything, Jimmy's posting up links for you to go ahead and click on and take a look with some of the information I gave you. This is the Naughty Web, $16, Sun K. Did two beautiful editions. Of course, he's just been really, huh, all our artists do amazing jobs. You guys know that. All right, Jose Varese, we have two from him. We have the uh, red and blue. Oh, I can't wait to see that one. Uh, the red and blue, these are the Entice prints. They are both $16 each. Get them available. Also, love this. This is from Mike Chrome. This is Justice. It'll run you $16 and it goes live on Friday as well. And we also have, oops, get my fingers into place. 11 by 17s are hard because, you know, they're 11 by 17 inches. Boom. This is the Naughty Eclipse print. Now, these are available again for $16 a piece, or you can get all six prints. For the price of, let me bring up my note, I believe it's $88, $80, that gets you six 11 by 17 prints, so don't delay, get them on Friday, <laughs> and um, yeah, take advantage of this, because this stuff doesn't last. Yeah, Miguel, great meme by the way, I really love that. Uh, yes, if you're talking about the Justice Edition, it is a new micro image. Absolutely stunning. I'll show you what the book looks like next. So, start things off. This is Lady Death Killers, Lady Web Edition. It'll run you $25. There'll be 200 serial number copies. Limit two. 
Copies per customer per household. New Sun K. Oh my, oh my, that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And I love the logo text we put on it too. Also, this is the Naughty version. This is Naughty Lady Web. Uh, Naughty Lady Web. $30. There will be 250 serial numbers of this edition. And again, a limit of two copies per customer per household. Hey, Mark. <laughs> all right, well, have a great day at work, man. Uh, Mark, um, you're all the way in Australia, if I'm not uh, mistaken. So I hope you have a beautiful start to your day, and I hope your work day treats you really good, man. Thank you for uh, watching me uh, while you're getting ready for work. All right, here's the addition. This is the new Mike Chrome. Uh, this is Lady Death Revelations Justice Edition. Um, again, Mike Chrome and Sanju Nivenjun. Um, are the artists on this. This is beautiful. And Miguel did an amazing meme for that. So thank you, Miguel. I I'm glad you uh, noticed the piece that you put up there. And justice for Jeff, everyone. Brady's not watching, so I don't get to hear her comments unless that's her running down the hallway. Okay, so this is the justice edition. It'll be $25. 125 serial numbered copies, so I predict these will go fairly quickly. And again, it is also a limit of two Copies per customer, per household. Um, yeah, yeah, honey, I, I agree. That is a really beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That ma the Lady Web is a very beautiful print. Very beautiful image. Uh, Sun K really has this um, style about her books and just like very, uh, they catch your breath in a way. You're just like, ooh, oh my. All right, next up, here are the two. Jose Veris editions. Um, they are both $25 each. There's going to be 100 serial numbered copies for each of these on a limit of one per uh, one copy per customer per household. You have Scarlet, Entice Scarlet, and Entice Blue. So these will go live on Friday. Make sure uh, you're up and early there, Swarm Club members, because you get to take advantage of that an hour before the general public. All right, next up, this is Lady Death, Oblivion Kiss, Hot Pink Hollow Foil by Matt Merhoff, and it's hot, so hot, and it's hollow foil. There's going to be 77 serial numbered copies. Price is $77.77. Limit one copy per customer per household. Wow, that's really pretty. That's beautiful, beautiful piece. Thank you, Matt Merhoff. All right, in our final presentation, Sora Song fans, here you go. Lady Death Malevolent Decimation, Moon Spell Metallic Edition. This is the mock up. Uh, it'll run you $100, and only 55 serial number copies will be made. And it's one per customer per household. All duplicate orders on any of these items will be canceled. So those all go live on Friday. Sworn Club members, you get an hour, hour early access before the general public. General public at 10 a.m. Arizona time, Mountain Standard time, which is 9 a.m. Pacific. And to our beautiful viewers and Sworn Club members, fiends, and all the other beautiful people that love coffee comics, that'll be available at noon on the East Coast. So, anyways, that'll do it for the offerings there. Remember, three more days. Friday is the day you need to have your um, bleh, survey for the Sacrificial Annihilation Kickstarter turned in. And also those are the last uh, few days that we will be having the pop-up crypt. So you can pick up some of those last minute Kickstarter editions that are left over that you might have missed out on. Excuse me, uh, that's a little... Ah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm doing good, Jay. Thank you for asking. Jessica Hartman, sorry I, I, tend, I uh, teased you with that. Yes, the, um, the mock-ups are really beautiful. Um, I can't wait to uh, get these medals made for you guys and ready to get shipped out. So I'll be uh, cranking these out uh, once we get the plates in. And um, yeah, I'm ready to make them and 
it's beautiful weather to actually be making metals this time of year here in Arizona, so it ain't so hot. All right, everybody, I got some fun stuff here in the catacombs. Let me just check my time. Oh, I got more than enough time. Jason, yeah, yeah. Mark, uh, again, thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, and everyone on the other side of the hemisphere that is watching us here on um, the Sworn Nation, thank you for joining me, and I hope you guys are just getting your day started out there. I hope it's an excellent day, and you all just have a beautiful one. Okay. So I'm going to start stuff off really quick with a nice small one, but these are available now and um, we'll keep them on the store until they either sell out or until the end of the holiday season. This is um, Lady Death Infernal Holidays 2019 Hollow Foil Card. I just got these put on the store today, so these are available right now. Art is by the talented Jim Ballant. So beautiful. That's beautiful. Um, I'm, I'm hoping to find some of these additions in the vault to introduce for an upcoming vault sale. Uh, but so far I haven't found any, so uh, we may be out of luck. But I do have the hollow foil cards available right now here at the Catacombs. All right. Let's get on to some beautiful books because, you know, we make beautiful books. All right. So a lot of these are onesies and some scratch and dents. Uh, found some really interesting things I have never seen before or didn't even know they exist. Um, here is one that uh, I just found in one of our boxes that was old con stock. This is Lady Death Gallery, Ghost Reaper Edition, and this is number 26 out of 99. So this is a one, 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 one. Yeah, just to get that, that card is stunning. And I loaded up a good number of stocks, so hopefully they'll last just for a while. Oh, I'll show that to you. Uh, it's the spine, Carmen. It has a crack um, right along the spine. It's uh, one of these books that, again, I found in an old con box. Um, so, yes, it, I'll show you the uh, crack here, too, in a moment. Uh, next up, uh, this is a Virgin Art Edition. It took me a while to do some research because I couldn't find it, so I had to go through our old uh, archives of all the stuff we published. And I'm very happy to say this is the only one I have. Uh, this is, where's my notes? This is Lady Death, All Hollows Evil, Virgin Art Edition by Sabine Rich. Um, I couldn't believe, I, I mean, I had to do a lot of looking around to find this. So, yes. Thank you, Clancy. Thank you. I'm back to you. Right on. Woo. So this is available now. This is the only one I have. This is it. Only one I have. So most of these uh, really gorgeous books, like I say, they are just onesies. This is Lady Death Damnation Game number one. I was kind of floored that I found this. This is the pinup edition number 72 of 150. This is a warehouse find. Homaging. My favorite pinup model of all time, Betty Page. Stunning, stunning cover. This is the last one that I am aware of in existence anywhere here at Coffin Comics. All right, another one that was a, a really nice find. I thought we were completely out of these, but um, like I say, going through these old boxes, I'm finding these little onesie stings like Lady Death Gallery. This is 152K edition. David Harrigan is the artist. This is the last one. Of course, I'd probably find another uh, box from uh, Constock and be like, oh, hey, there's another one. So either way, uh, the more I find, the more to your benefits for your collection. All right, and another great one. This is some of my favorite covers we did back in the day. This is Lady Death of Living Kiss. This is the Vampire Edition, number 50 of 150. The only thing I really like about these editions, we did a, a run where we had um, an Elvira homage, um, Vampira homage. We did a um, Bride of Frankenstein, uh, Lily, Lily Munster, and of course, you know, Morticia Adams. But stunning covers, some of my favorite stuff we produced. All right, for the scratch and dents, <coughs> excuse me. This is Lady Death, Malevolent Decimation, number one, Elite Editions. 
Got these at a really great value. Just have some dings and dents that make it so we cannot sell it at a mint price. So we pass the savings on to you. So these are available right now. That's Lady Death. Malevolent Decimation, number one, scratch and dent. Remember when I could do nothing about fumbling that? <sighs> the Malevolent Decimation. Now I say it with ease. All right, for all you uh, graphic novel fans, and this is a great gift, um, you know, make a gift and hand it off to someone. This is Lady Death Rules, Volume 2. This collects chapters 4, 5, 6, and 7 of the Lady Death um, Coffin Verse stories. So four chapters. Normally it's $20. I believe we got it going for $10. So great way to get caught up and a great way to introduce everyone to Lady Death here at Coffin Comics. What else do I have for you? Oh, here we go. All right. So sometimes things get sent off, and they get dinged in the in the mail, and because you know some people aren't good at being careful with books and packages, so they get dinged, and then they come to me. This is Cataclysmic Majesty Naughty Bedside Edition. This is a scratch and dent. It is signed by Brian Polito. They got a ding right up there in the corner, so can't sell it as mint. So I'm going to sell it to you guys at a discounted price. All right, here we go. One of my favorites. The book was so nice, Brian couldn't help but to sign it twice. This is La Muerta Onslaught Mega Foil Edition. Double sign, double sign. Just need to put in an extra COA. I know I don't need to, but I figure it's fun. It's a double sign. You know, okay. What are you going to do? Got to have fun, man. Selling comic books for a living. It's always fun. All right, here we go. Another scratch and dent. Make sure I got my notes correct, because one time I almost <laughs> um, brought up the pre the week ahead stuff out. I was like, ooh, that would have been funny. Another scratch and dent, Cataclysmic Majesty, Naughty Pumpkin Queen Edition, and it is signed by Brian. This is available right now, scratch and dent. You know, I don't know. That's a neat question because some of those trading cards would look amazing if they got jeweled. Um, I don't know. I think that really would depend on Shannon. Um, so, yeah. I don't know. I, I don't think I've ever seen anyone um, jewel a card yet. Got an interesting idea there, Jessica. All right. Speaking of beautiful spooky ladies... This is uh, Extinction Express, Dark Mistress Metal Edition. It is number three out of 25. Dakota and I were floored. We found this in the store. Uh, it looked like it just got in the mix. We pulled the tab because we figured, oh, you know, they're sold out. And they got in the middle of some other books. And she's like, hey, look what I found. And I was just like, jaw drop, pick it up off the floor. It's like, gimme, gimme, gimme. So here you go. Um, I think I'm even out of vault copy edition. So... Here's your chance, Elvira homage cover, and that is a metal cover too, by the way. Michael De Pascal is the artist. All right, Carmen, this right here, the Lady Death Killers uh, Violet Edition, it's cracked along the spine. It sucks, it's a beautiful book. It's an older coffin edition. There you go, there's the older logo and the uh, mini evolutions of it but it has cracks going all the way down here. Um, so yeah, here it is, it is jeweled. It is sold as is, as is, but still, I never knew we did a jeweled edition of this book. It's absolutely stunning, absolutely beautiful cover. J. Scott Campbell just killed it, as usual. This guy does some really beautiful art. That's everything I got here today on the catacombs. Uh, if anybody has any questions, please let me know. Quinn, um, should have been the pop up crib. How soon people start? Um, we'll see. The pop up crypt, the crypt, crypt, the crypt is open till Friday. Um, usually it takes a few weeks before we offer like the premiere editions because we need to make sure that everyone's orders gets to where it needs to go before we start offering this stuff. Um, usually premiere editions. Uh, we have plenty of stock. 
So you'll probably see one of those popping up soon. Uh, sign up for the VIP newsletter. Uh, it'll let you know when we have items like that going live and uh, it'll get a little notification, but I will definitely uh, show them to you. I I'd say wait a few weeks, probably January, February. I say closer to February, maybe mid-February, you might see some of those items going on sale for that premiere edition you were talking about. And uh, thank you for joining the show there, Quinn. Um, hope you were doing well. Clancy, oh yeah, La Muerta. Of course, you are quite welcome. Thank you for asking questions. Um, Swarm Fest, yeah. I think that's a wonderful idea. I know last year at Spain Fest we did. You could get uh, like prints, um, jeweled by Shannon, uh, comics, um, trading cards. I don't know if she did any. I didn't see any come my way, but I wouldn't be surprised if she hasn't done trading cards, but you might want to ask her in person, so maybe bring them along uh, with you uh, to Swarm Fest uh, just to see. Better to be safe than sorry, I always say. Uh, and it's a con. You're going to hang out with all us wonderful people. It's going to be amazing. Yeah, here, yeah, the car and me, I, uh, that, that's one of my favorite covers. And, you know, it's because my wife is and my Letitia Adams. I love my wife. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I really like these shiny cards. Carmen, I hope that image showed you, like I say, they had um, spine cracks uh, along the fold where the staples are. So there's not much I could really do to try to sell that at any, any decent price because it, it was just really bad. It kind of broke my heart. I almost wasn't going to present it, but I figured one of y'all are going to want it. So, and it's a great value, great book. Um, well, it's just my job. Jessica Hartman, next thing you know, I got, if I got any mock-ups, um, turn away from the screen. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I don't mean to entice you, but it is my job. <laughs> uh, Taylor, uh, I am doing good, Jay. Thank you. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know, but you better cook me up some barbecue ribs and ship them on over here to HQ here in Mesa, Arizona. I am always willing to try some beautiful home-cooked meals, and I love barbecue. Let's see who else do we have? Mm -hmm. All right, that looks like about it. Looks like there was um, that's just that's just blasphemy. You can't. Well, how about this? If you know I'm gonna do mock-ups, just put your hands over your eyes and leave the cracks like we used to as kids when you were too afraid to watch the monster movie. And you had to cover your eyes, but you also had to see what's going on at the same time. So maybe do that and close it when you don't want to see an addition and open it when you just want to get a hint of what it looks like. I'm trying to work with you here. Anyways, uh, Jessica, thank you very much, and thank you everyone for joining me. I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend. Uh, I'm looking forward to um, getting some work done and um, getting more things for the vault sale. So I'm going to head back, have my lunch, and I'm going to go ahead and back up Randy and them at the warehouse crew to help get some Kickstarter orders out to you. Anyways, I'm Julian the Hooligan. Happy holidays to you guys. I will see you guys on Monday on the uh, Coffin TV YouTube channel. Till then, I am sworn to you. I will talk to you guys later. <laughs> liver. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Have a magnificent day and have an even better weekend. I'm out. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Have an amazing day.